What's up guys, Jack here. And in today's video, we have the sprint race from the Wednesday night league race that we streamed this week. So we are starting this race in P9 and it ended up being a really eventful race. And the good news is I did not mess up any pit stops in this race. So for once, we're off to a good start. So if you guys would be possibly interested in joining the leagues for the next season, I'm going to leave a link for the Discord in the description. And while you're doing that, you might as well hit that subscribe button for me. So we are doing a rolling start this race. We were having issues with um, Xbox services and Discord. So we decided to do a rolling start. So we're starting here in P9 and we are off. Hole was set by SF Farhan. If you've ever run into him in a lobby, you know he is very, very quick. So we didn't have our best qualifying run. We could have. Oh, no. Accidents. Unfortunately, there, Kalos got a little bit sideways in turn one, and we got collected in the incident. We lost a couple of positions, but P12, not too bad. And with all of the other cars in front in a massive draft train and aero wash train, we're probably going to be able to make up some ground and catch back up. But right now, we just got to make sure we hold a good line stay defensive and not let this corvette draft back by us we want to try and catch up as quick as we can to the main pack after that lap one incident so 15 laps of green flags there's no yellows in this race and if you haven't seen this layout yet this is road america east and that last corner we went through is absolutely terrifying on this track because there is a massive jump and you're going about 190 miles an hour at that point so it is very very terrifying so let's get in let's catch up to the car in front and start making some moves so head down we are pushing to try and get a little bit more of a gap try and get away from the air wash from kalos behind us if he's able to stay in that seven tenths of a second range we're going to be slowed down just a little bit now the builds on these cars are different from normal multiplayer his car actually had a higher top speed in the Ford GT than my Ferrari did, but it has significantly more weight. So the Ferrari is actually a little bit better handling than the Ford in the builds and the BOP for this series. Um, now, one more thing as we're catching up to the cars in front, I wanted to say we are having another race Friday night, um, seven o'clock Eastern. We're gonna do two races with the same BOP that you're seeing in this video. So if you guys can make it out tonight, the day this video is going out, we would love to be able to have you guys in there and have a nice little private race and some clean, fun racing. So let's get back to it. We finally got into the draft of the car in front now. So we're going to be able to start making up some of the positions we lost on that first lap. So with the Ferrari, it still does have good top end. So we can kind of make some moves. And it's still really important about being patient here. Because if I stuck it up the inside at the start of that corner, I probably would have gave Kalos a really good run at me. So being patient right there, I was able to let the Audi make a mistake and then make the move up on the inside. Now we have the Porsche in front of us and the Porsche. Is, and I'm not actually sure why, but he uh, decided to let us go. I, I'm not sure if he had engine damage or a mistake or he was just being uh, nice, but I'm not sure what happened with that one. But we're moving on to the next car up to P10, almost back to where we started. So. We're catching up here. We got a good little run on the BMW. We have a little bit of an advantage on the top end on this car, but not much. So we're going to focus on getting a good exit, try and line it up, and try and be able to drag by him before we get to the next corner. Because I really do not want to enter this next corner side by side. So hopefully we got enough of a draft there. I think we get enough of a run, and we're going to be able to make sure we finish this pass going into the corner. And we're just going to go nice, smooth through. Try not to let him get a run back on the inside. We just got to keep going. Make sure we get our head down and get onto the next target as quick as we can. Try and build that 7 tenth of a second gap. And here we go. So this Acura was really, really fast on lap times. And this is where knowing your car's raceability can really come in handy. Because this Acura is one of the faster cars around the track in terms of lap time. But unfortunately, with its lower top end and the BOP, it was unable to really hold any position or gain any position. So if you got stuck in a train, like which can happen a lot in Forza, if a lot of people are of a similar pace, 
You really don't want that car that's just fast on a lap time. You want to make sure your car has good enough acceleration to not just get passed on the straights. So when choosing what car you want to use in leagues and in multiplayer, you really want to make sure you know how does this car race against other cars? It's not just going to be the lap time. So in the multiplayer hoppers, I use the Acura a lot with the last to first challenges, but that's because that car accelerates really well. I'm able to make passes on cars. So I'm still running the same lap times. It's just easier for me to make those moves when I get there. So we're gonna come up trying to make our ground back up and we're gonna be able to get back inside that seven tenth range, get a little bit of draft off this Corvette. Corvette's very, very loud car. It's one of the cars that you can hear over your own engine half the race. I am someone who really enough, uses the sound of the up. engine to shift the gears. So it's really uh, off-putting when you can hear nothing but a drown of the C8 and nothing else. So it makes it a little bit difficult. So we got a little bit of a cluster up here, but we're, we're really making some ground back up to the leaders. We've kind of caught back up. We're not really that far behind at all. So we really still have a chance at this one. So if we can make our way through the field quickly enough, we're going to be able to have a chance at some of these leaders. So let's keep our head down, stay in the draft and make the moves when we can. We don't want to make an opening for the cars behind. So we want to make sure we make a smart move and be patient for the passing opportunities. So there we go. We were able to run a 102.3, which was only about two tenths off of the fastest lap in this race and right there that was an aggressive move on the corvette and we're going to get a little bit of a squeeze here definitely just going to have to back out of that yeah so we're going to put our foot back down so right there probably should have just stuck the nose back out of it or committed way harder but that little move of backing out ended up causing us a lot of time so that was not a good mistake for me to make because now I got to try and catch back up to this field again. And we're just making that, making the leaders get a chance to escape. So we got to keep our foot down, make sure we're making the right moves. So now we have a good chance at getting a run here, but we're going to go boom, right to the outside, take the draft. And we're going to see if we can make a move on Weed Man here down into turn one. Just go in a straight line, Weed. It's a very uh, interesting name. Right here, you can see that my problem with the little indicators is showing me the car in front of me. I wish it wouldn't because I keep thinking there's a car behind me. But it's very difficult to really get a good vision in Forza, so that's why I'm using those. So we're making a good little run on Weedman here. I think we might be able to make a move all the way up to P7 after a rough start. So pretty happy with the comeback so far. We're gonna go around the outside and there's a little bit of a mistake. So we're gonna hop all the way up to P5 now. We just gotta make sure we can finish this move on Weed Man and then set our sights on the next car in front and we're gonna be able to finish that move. But is he gonna try and make a little bit of a comeback? He is, he's gonna make that dive bomb right back in. Then we would get a little bit of contact from that Corvette behind. A little bit of a wonky line and I gotta put my foot back into it and get back in the groove because I just lost a lot of time with just, I think I was just a little bit too cautious entering that corner. I should have fought him a little bit harder. I allowed the Corvette behind me to put some pressure on and made a little bit of a mistake and lost more time. So being a little bit, a little bit of a bump behind. And I think that bump is going to kind of throw the chance at a win maybe away, but we're going to have to see what we can do and try and maybe see if we can make it onto the podium. It's, Lost a little bit of time there. We're pushing a little bit too hard, but it's just been a it's it's been a good race for us to make it back through the field, but it's been a little bit of a frustrating one with the incident right away and the little bump off the track. We're losing a little bit of time, but we're just gonna keep going. And there's that accurate again. You see, he's able easily able to keep up with us, but he just can't make any moves with the way that car is gaining its lap time. He's gaining all of his lap time in the corners, but there's only four corners on this track. So we get a good little run. You can see the Acura is right behind us at the start of the straight, but now the longer this goes, you can see we're just pulling this gap on that Acura. Even with him in the draft, he can't really hang on the rear end of this car. So we're gonna try and make a move on the Corvette here. We're gonna all push out a little bit wide with that arrow wash. We're gonna be able to make the move stick. We're made it up to P4 
after dropping down to 12th after that little lap one incident. So not too bad of a recovery drive. So we just got to make sure we're able to pull that 7 tenth of a second gap. And then we can, should be able to just drive it all the way home for the end of the race. But it wasn't as easy as I had hoped it would be to just finish out this race. So we were able to get a little bit of a gap here, but another car was making its way back through the field, and that was Kalos in the Ford GT. So I started to get a little bit of engine damage, not much, just like uh, one or two percent. So I was losing maybe a tenth or two a lap, and on a track this small, that really does matter. And he just, within the last three laps, made kept that gap bet between about one second and 1.5 seconds, keeping the pressure on but we were able to hold our nerve and run some nice clean lines all the way to the end of the race. And we were able to take home fourth place in the sprint race, which we will have an inverted field for the, uh, for the full length race on Road America. That video will be coming out Sunday and we will be streaming tonight at 7 p.m. So here we go, we take home oh, P4 and 31. I hope to see you guys at 7 p.m. tonight where we will be streaming two races, 45 minutes each. GT homologation and the touring car homologation cars are what is allowed. Hope to see you guys there tonight. Have a good one. And I'll leave you with this, a clip from Hercules LW for the end of the video. If you guys want any of your clips or you guys have any really funny clips or epic moments, go ahead and send those to me in the Discord and see your video featured at the end of mine. Oh, and one more thing.